point what is the scope of the feature which we are going to develop and how to build those features using Visual Studio for SharePoint 2010 so basically the features are the packages of functionality that will be available when you activate them and the same will get removed during the deactivation in your SharePoint form and the scopes which are available while developing the features are one is web scope which will be available at site level and the next one is site scope which will be available at site collection level the third one is web application scope which will be available at web application and the last one is form level scope which will be available for your entire SharePoint form let's say for example if you develop any artifact at highest scope let's say if at form scope that will have an impact or effect on the below scope of applications as well like web application site collection and site next is the feature.xml file this is basically describes what exactly the feature is and it will have a title a description and unique ID which will identify the feature and what is the scope of that feature in the below reference you can find more details about feature.xml or the properties of that particular file and we will see a demo on how to build features using Visual Studio 2013 for SharePoint 2010 and we apply those features using Visual Studio as well so let's go ahead and jump into the development I'll open Visual Studio now. Okay, so let's create a new project. To create a new project, click on File, New, Project, and select Office under Office under SharePoint SharePoint Solutions, and choose SharePoint 2010 Empty Project, and name this one as Features. Click OK. it's creating the project of name features so I'm going to deploy this one as a form solution and the site which I want to use for debugging will be sharepointjourney.com so click finish to create the project so it's creating the project now so the project has been created you can see here in the project you have a features folder so we will be concentrating more on the features folder and you have one more folder called package that we will discuss in the future lessons and this will have references of DLLs as well Okay. and if you go to the features project and check the properties of this project in the properties you have active deployment configuration which by default it has been set to default now I'm gonna set this one to no activation so what happens when we deploy this particular project using Visual Studio so it will basically build the solution and package the solution and deploy it to the shape point so during that time I don't want to activate any features by default I want to do it manually so that is the basic purpose of making this active deployment configuration to no activation okay and it's a form solution you can see that sandbox solution is set to false so we'll discuss more about the solutions in future lessons as well so let's go ahead and add a feature to this project to add a feature right click on feature folder and click on add feature so once you click on add feature the new feature will get added to the project you can see here feature 1 has been added so let's rename this feature as web site feature okay. 
and once you rename this as website feature and make the title as the same with the same name website feature and add description as this feature is for a website and by default the scope will be at web level so if you expand this drop down you can see all the scopes which are available for the feature to develop so this will get activated for a specific website click save now if I go to the properties of this particular feature and I am going to change this active on default to false okay so that we can activate the feature manually it doesn't require but I just want to show you okay now let's go ahead and deploy this feature you can see an output window what is happening during the deployment so the build has started okay the build progress is happening and it's adding the solution now okay and it's deploying the solution as well the build has been succeeded now to check this website feature you have to go to site actions site settings and click on manage site features and if you scroll down you can see that website feature has been added to your site okay now let's go ahead and add one more feature which is of site collection scope to add that click on features folder right click on add features and I'll name this one as site collection feature and the title will be this feature is for a site collection and I'm gonna change the scope to site okay so that it will be at site collection level I'm gonna rename this feature as well site collection feature okay let's deploy it again now keep an eye on output window so we have the existing solution so the retraction happened now to check the site collection level feature go to site actions site settings give a moment because app pool recycle has been happen happened it will be up very soon the site has come up under site collection administration click on site collection features to see the site collection feature which you have developed see you can see here our site collection feature is available this feature is for a site collection next we will add one more feature which will be available at a web application level so let's go ahead and add a feature and rename this as web application feature okay and give the title as the same web application feature this feature is for web application and change the scope to web application so whatever the components or items will get deployed using this feature will be available at web application so just go ahead and deploy the solution again so deploy has been succeeded so to see the web application level features you have to open the central administration under application management click on manage web applications where you will have the list of web applications available and this is our web application to see the features under ribbon click on manage features option and if you scroll down you can see the web application feature is available here okay so we have developed site feature site collection feature and web application feature let's go ahead and add one more feature okay. and name this as form feature and let's rename the title form feature 
this feature is for entire SharePoint form and change the scope to form and deploy it again so now we are deploying a feature which will be available at form level so to see the form level features also you have to go to central admin and click on system settings and you can see here manage form features under form management so click on that you can see here the form feature is available at form level okay so in this demo we have seen how to develop feature which is at site level and site scope feature which will be available at site collection level and web application feature which will be available at web application level and the form feature which will be available at form level okay and we need to see where these files got deployed so all these files will get deployed to a feature folder on 12 hive so sorry 14 hive to see that go to see program files common files microsoft shared web server extensions 14 hive templates features so you can see here features form feature site collection feature website feature web application feature all these features are getting stored under features folder under 14 high so you can see what is there so if you try to open this particular feature.xml which i was talking about whenever we deploy the feature the feature.xml file will get generated it will have a title and it will have a description it will have a guid and the scope which will get deployed or available at. so in this case it is a f at form level so so far in this lesson we have seen what is the feature what are the types of scopes which are available while developing the features and how to develop those features using visual studio and deploy them using visual studio and where exactly those features will get deployed to in the file location okay thank you for your time we'll see you in next lesson